Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to 2024, a year that has been declared as our year of flourishing. I'd like to welcome everyone, a uh, member of the AMP at every level, everyone listening to me from any part of the world. Um, this year has been prophetically declared as our year of flourishing. And this has been anchored on Psalm 92 from verse 12 beginning. It says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. Verse 13, Those that are planted in the house of the Lord our God shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age, and they shall be fat and flourishing. Double emphasis on flourishing there. I think, uh, once God has spoken twice about heart. But let me first congratulate everyone of us for the privilege of seeing and, uh, the dawn of a new year. Um, it's a privilege of God for any mortal man to see, you know, a new year, a new season. Um, no one should take this for granted. Now, as we enter into the new year, it's important for you and I to know that God is, what God is saying for the year, for the new year, for God speaks, um, into our season. He speaks into our moment. He speaks into our years. Um, the Bible says without vision, people perish. So every new season of our life carry a definite plan and purpose of God. Um, the book of Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says, to every season, you know, every purpose, every time, you know, you know, under the heaven, there's a purpose. There's a season. The time goes with seasons. And so by the leading of the Lord, um, this year for us, on this platform has been declared as a year of flourishing. Remember, we started a covenant keeping God. Therefore, every of his provision carries a definite demand that are what you and I must do. Because until our part is played, God is not committed. And so I'll be sharing with us briefly what are the fundamentals, what are the things that you and I must be mindful of. For your host to experience flourishing is a prophetic word declared, yes, but there are things to do to see prophecy fulfilled. Remember, I said over and over again that you know you cannot fulfill prophecy in the energy of your flesh. There are spiritual demands, and so that we run through a couple of thoughts that I believe we have to take position and we will flourish in every of our lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number one thing, according to the scripture, Psalm 92, verse 1 and 2, says it's a good thing to give thanks unto God and to sing praise to the name almost high, to show forth thy loving kindness every morning and thy faithfulness every night. So number one thing is a lifestyle of thanksgiving and praise. There's power in thanksgiving. Want to see him flourish? Want to see God preserve and multiply your blessing? He says, out of them shall proceed. Thanksgiving and then I will multiply. There's a flourishing experience that comes with thanksgiving and praise as a lifestyle. You want to see the praise of God and then the heart shall yield increases power in thanksgiving. If you want to see a flourishing experience in this new year. Number two thing is righteousness. That is right standing with God as a lifestyle. Psalm 92 verse 12 says the righteous shall flourish. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. Righteousness is key. Right standing with God. Obedience to, you know, standing right in the fear of the Lord. as a lifestyle in this new year. Job was a clear example, a man perfect, they feared God, and yet he, a most prosperous man being. Even in his, in, you know, in his own days in the business world, flourishing experience. Abraham, a clear example. He said, I will not, you know, I, I, will, I will not make you say, um, you have made Abraham rich, standing on integrity, righteousness, the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. Number three is obedient to scriptural covenant practices. There are covenant practices that you and I must be mindful of. For example, uh, mindful of God's, you know, ways, it is of his word. Covenant here requires what are the, what are the God's prescription in his word. Obedience to God's word. He says, if you're obedient, you can to the word of God, my God, I will, in the, and it's set up on high above all nations, you will flourish. Why? By giving attendance, at e taking heed to my word. Obedience to scriptural covenant practices. There are a couple of covenant practices, um, that I've shared over and over on this platform. Be mindful of these covenant practices and then you're flourishing this new year. For example, Psalm 1, verse 2, talk about meditate upon the word day and night. And then verse 3 says, then whatever you do shall prosper, shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. And whatever you do shall prosper. Flourishing. Why? Be key, obedient to scriptural covenant practices, God's word. Number four is service to God and the interest of his kingdom. He says, if you, if you seek my kingdom first and the advancement of my kingdom, he said, then you enjoy additions. 
then they're going to enjoy additions. What about the people that are running over all over the place in town? God will begin to hide it to you, begin to flourish even in hard times by reason of your kingdom service, service to God in the church, service to God in supporting NGOs, you know, humanity in different form, different giving to the poor, giving to the needy, your service at this level. That's why volunteering, service opportunities, must something must take delight in this new year for you to experience flourishing. That is, you know, when, when you do all those things you are doing, as it were for God, and God returns back with blessings to match. Number five is subscribing to divine guidance and leaning on the Holy Spirit. This year, you need, we need, you and I need guidance more than ever before. And when the chief guide on here, the master guide on here is the Holy Spirit, is the Spirit of Truth. You say, we'll guide you into all truth. He will show you things to come. There are a lot of God has learned for this year. It's the one that will show us and guide us. At that part, chapter 58, very powerful scripture. It says, the Lord will guide you continually. It shall make fat your bones. It shall be like a water garden. And then, like a spring of water, which water fill not. Flourishing experience. You know, I say, you're trusting them when you let them. So the listening of the Holy Spirit is going to be critical for us this year. So please, I beg of you, subscribe to the living of the Holy Spirit. And then number six is godly association. Covenant partnership, I call it. You know, the company you keep them with the company. So this year, you must be choosing. Friendship is not by force, it's by choice. Make the right choice. Evil communication, corrupt good manners. You want to stand with people who, who value the things of God that you value. Be careful of ungodful, um, 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 ungodly company, people that of, of scorners and of sinners. That those that will not mind um, in the covenant of God in the way they do the things. You must be choosy and be careful. The company you keep this shape of what you know what follows you, you know, it's functional what, what who you are following. And I myself with absolute faith and trust in God. This is critical. The dust are lead by faith. Most in this new year to see flourishing, you must believe God first. It all begins with, you know, as when they receive him, to them give him power to become. For you to be able to experience this, you must have belief. They just are lead by faith. So to experience flourishing in 2024, you and I must endeavor to make 2024 our most spiritual year. At the root of every flourishing experience in our careers, in our business, in our family life, is a spiritual prosperity. It shall be leveled up with all things that thou prosper and be in health, even though thou soul prosper it. So our spiritual prosperity will be a function, will be this, will be setting the stage for all around flourishing this year. Therefore, you and I must re-examine our steps, reposition ourselves, and realign ourselves with covenant demands to make the best of the year 2024. We are not any grace, I believe, to run the reside of us, but because no man can accomplish divine plan in the energy of the flesh. My prayer is that this opportunity of uh, this year of flourishing will, will be a year of opportunity for everyone of us to scale heights in the current businesses. And what they do, we have our prayer to join the prayer and fast and hide of us to set the stage, you know, it's to, show, to create a sure foundation for a flourishing experience. My prayer this year, that everyone of you all, as the Lord live it, we shall experience all around flourishing this year and will testify and God's name shall be glorified in Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to declare to yourself, Right now, that this shall be my year of flourishing. It shall be my year of flourishing. It shall be my year of flourishing. I will testify, and God's name shall be glorified in Jesus' precious name. Amen.